here's the schematic for our relay. And when you flip the switch on, electricity is going to flow through the fuse, then through the switch and over to pin 86. And then what it's going to do is electricity will flow through our coil here and it will come out of pin 85 and it will head right back to the ground of the battery. So when you flip the switch and it energizes this electromagnet, it then is going to switch between 87 and 87A because uh, a relay schematic shows everything in the non-energized state. And so that's why we hook our light up to 87. Well, when the coil turns on from the switch powering it, it's going to change positions from 87A to 87. And electricity will then flow through the fuse. It'll come along this line to pin 30. And it will come and bypass 87A and get to 87 and go out to the light. So then the light's going to turn on. And it needs to send energy right straight back to the battery. So you'll notice there's one more wire left over here. And all you have to do is run a wire from here to the negative on the battery. And what that does is that just powers a light. It's a return for the light that's on the switch. If you don't have a light on your switch, you just don't wire anything up right there. Anyways, hopefully that makes a lot of sense. And just remember that this relay shows the path in a non-energized state and once we turn it on electricity flows from 30 and at, comes out of 87.